Ahoy, fellow Vita comrades and welcome. Today just a quick video about how to connect PS Vita or PS TV to any Android device, be it smartphone, tablet or even smart TV or set-top box. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. First what we gonna need? All we need is PS Vita or PS TV. Then clearly we need Android device, then the cables, then we need any kind of OTG cable, either USB-C or micro USB, depending on the device you are using. Uh, then we need also app on the Android device. And last we need one plugin for PS Vita and for PS TV we need uh, this basic HDMI video capture device. It's pretty cheap, it costs like 7 quid. And uh, the links for all the aforementioned things are of course down below, so go and have a look in case you're interested. Ok, now let's begin the process with the PS Vita. First we need to install the plugin, it's called UDC underscore UVC dot SKPRX. It lets you stream your PS Vita screen to your PC via USB. And it works perfectly also for this scenario, because it's basically the same thing, but we are streaming the screen to Android device instead of Windows PC. If you don't know how to install plugin, I'm also leaving a link for the video that will explain it to you in one minute. Ok, the plugin is installed. Now we gotta install the app on the Android device. I'm using one called USB camera from Play Store. It's for free, but with ads. If you don't wanna see ads, you gotta pay like 4 quid to get the Pro app. Or I simply disconnect the Wi-Fi and the ads won't appear when you are outputting the video because it can be pretty annoying. Now all is left to do is to plug the cable into the Vita, then plug it into OTG on the other hand and then plug it into the Android device with the app already running and the picture will gloriously appear. There are no issues with the picture, it's a bit trickier with the sound though. You can do it easily on the Windows PC in the OBS, however I think you cannot do it with this exact app unless you pay for a pro version. Simple solution would be what I did, just connect your external speakers via headphone jack or bluetooth to your PS Vita and the audio will miraculously resonate through your membranes. And that's basically it, don't forget to connect your DualShock 3 or 4 to the Vita with another plugin to enjoy all the Vita has to offer on your smart TV or on your tablet. There is of course some latency, cause we are streaming it, but it isn't as bad. For majority of games you'll be fine, but if you need some quick reaction times your mileage may vary. Now let's quickly check the PSTV solution, more or less it is the same thing, but we are sending the picture via HDMI and not via USB, and we are using the HDMI video capture device on the other end plugged into the OTG. You don't need to install plugin for this solution, you just need the HDMI video capture device, and also audio in this case works fine even in the app. I guess because it's going through the HDMI cable and it works out of box. Now to some basic troubleshooting. If the picture doesn't appear after you've plugged it in, make sure your Android device supports OTG. Majority of new devices support it, but many older ones do not. Quick test you can make to find out is to plug in OTG and then plug in some USB thumbstick. And when it shows up and you can access the files, the device of course supports it. Next thing that comes to mind is to not forget to reboot the Vita after installing the plugin to enable it. And also sometimes the app wasn't showing up uh, the feed from the Vita even though it was enabled so I had to reboot the Vita once again you know to show it up after I uh, opened the app. Also the plugin works for sure but if you got many other plugins installed there might be some interferences in between them and it will not work so be careful. 
but I've got all the basic ones plus many others and there are no issues, so you should be alright. And that would be it, I hope this video helps you to enjoy your Vita on the big screen. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to not miss upcoming content, support the channel via join button, super thanks or affiliate links, check discord and follow me on socials. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.